This is a brief overview of sensor data collection and analysis using the Vernier Graphical Analysis app. This is intended for Logger Pro users. When you first launch Graphical Analysis, you're presented with a welcome screen, which allows you to select which type of experiment you want to do. Today, we'll choose the sensor data collection option. As you can see, I have a temperature probe already connected to my computer using a LabQuest Mini, and a default experiment is already showing up. To get the view of a graph table and meter the way we see it in Logger Pro, I need to click on the View Options button and then add both the data table and the meter to my screen. Once I've added them, I can adjust their display to give me a more optimal view of, the, of my screen. You see that my experiment is gonna last for 180 seconds based on the time column. That's longer than I want. I can choose the mode button in the lower left hand corner to change my data collection settings. In this case, I'll change it to just 10 seconds. And now I'm ready to collect data. I'll hit collect and then put my temperature probe in a cup of hot water. For my data, I may wish to show points instead of lines connecting them, or I can show them both. To change that, in the lower left corner, you'll see a graph options button. I click that option, scroll down to the edit graph options, and then here I can choose the appearance to show points or lines, or both. I can click on the graph anywhere to see the value of the data point that I'm on. Notice how my data table also um, highlights the point so I get that same kind of connection between the graph and the table. If I want to do a data analysis, I can click and drag across the graph to select a region. <clears throat> you see I get a choice of options once I have a selected region. Here I may want to apply a curve fit. And in this case, I want to use uh, exponential. If I had not selected a region first, I can access those same tools using the graph options button. If I want to now take a, another uh, sample of data, I can hit the collect button again, take my probe out of the water, and then let it cool down. You'll notice that my data table now shows data set two. So I did not overwrite my data. I've collected a new data set and I can scroll that screen over so you can see them both. To view both, on the same graph, I click the Y axis label and I can choose to show both temperature of my warming and temperature of cooling at the same time. One additional feature I have with graphical analysis is I can use the application through a web browser without having to install the software. So if I open up Google Chrome and type in graphicalanalysis.app, you see I can load the same experiment files as I did before. Here again, if I choose sensor data collection, one difference is I have to give the browser permission to use USB. So I must select USB, choose the LabQuest, find the LabQuest mini that I'm connected to, and then connect. And then I'm set up to do data collection as I was before.